Hey, what's going on, everybody? YouTube Odyssey back here at the Adventurous Guide to the Galaxy. Now, I've got this yellow light here. Uh, you guys can't see it, but standing here. And I got this pickup truck here. And it's got my camera hooked on the back. Now, I figured I would just do this real quick video. This is for Gen Z and Gen Alpha, all these young kids out here. Now, uh, standing out here, it's a little cold. Got my little jacket on. And I uh, was sitting here thinking today, I saw a video, and uh, one of these YouTubers. They're talking, uh, I guess, to the younger kids and are saying some stuff. And uh, <clears throat> I thought about it. I might as well do a video for these younger kids out here. Because um, a lot of, it's an election year. Now you're going to see a lot of goofy nonsense and people talking about, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And um, it would be very rare if any of it gets done at all. Now, for all these younger kids out here that are going to be graduating high school or maybe you just recently graduated high school, a lot of, a lot of people are... A lot of these younger kids are just getting able to vote and they're getting into the real world and stuff and they're wondering like, you know, what's going on, you know, because there's even like I said, I'm 35, right? And uh, when I was younger, you know, a lot of times you're told these people that are older than you, they're smarter, right? They're they are smart. They obviously know what they're doing because they've lived this long. And I'm not saying that it isn't true because there's a lot of, you know, really awesome people out there with wisdom. You got to be able to understand like what's somebody you know, they're wise about something, which is there's plenty of things that are, and then there's somebody who's, they just happen to be older than you, and that doesn't necessarily mean they don't know what they're talking about now. For a lot of these younger kids out here, it's very tough for them because everything, like I said, I live in the United States of America, right? I live in Florida, right? It's probably about 50 degrees out here, standing out here in the middle of the night. Um, a lot of people, it's very cold where they live across the rest of the, the United States, right? And um, everything's very expensive too, and not on top of the weather being crazy, it's very expensive, it's very tough. Um, many years ago, you should not be like that. So my, again, this is going to be my video. I don't know what I want to title this. The advice to Gen Z and Gen Alpha, right? Um, how are they going to survive in this world where everything is ridiculously expensive and a lot of the older people don't seem to understand they, they don't care. Cause like say, Oh, well I got mine. So whatever. That's a, uh, an attitude you're going to run into a lot. And you need to be able to cat you need to be able to identify that right so uh there's this like i was saying earlier this is one point in my life where i realized like wow these people that are older than me they necessarily don't aren't always smarter like they may have went through some things that are that are you know have great lessons for you to understand right but then there's other there's other things like they don't they don't understand like i said like for example i joined signed up for the marine corps the united states marine corps 2008 went to boot camp 2009 um 2010 i was living in okinawa japan and you know, I got to this section, I was doing like electronics, I was doing um, communications, electronics, fixing laptops, satellites, Humvees, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of electronics, doesn't matter what it is, you've eventually figured out how to use it. So, and I get to this unit, and there was this guy, he was like a, you know, he was a staff NCO, but I guess he was a staff sergeant, right? Um, cool guy and everything, but like I said, he would, he would always, we'd always get into arguments and stuff, and like, we would always kind of like wrestle around, he's a very cool guy, but you know, he would be like, yeah, Winslow, you think you're so smart? I'm like, well, yeah, actually, I think I am because, you know, because just a few days ago, he was arguing with me like, oh, why don't you go do this? He's like, well, Staff Sergeant, isn't that your job? He's like, I don't know how to fix any of this stuff. I came back in the Marine Corps fixing printers, all these computers and all the satellites and stuff. This is way out of my league. I just do paperwork now. And he was talking crap to me because he's like, I don't have to do that because I'm a Staff Sergeant, right? Or, you know, I'm an older person because I guess at the time I was, uh, I was 20, just turned 21. Um, yeah, just from 22 actually at the time. Um, and this guy was like almost 30. So he was like sitting there talking smack. But, um, like I said, he joined the Marine Corps a couple years before me and he's like, oh yeah, back in my day, I was doing this and that I was in, in Iraq or whatever. I was fixing printers and stuff. I was like, bro, you don't understand the type of stuff we have now. He's like, yeah, I just do paperwork. And he was talking smack, but that's my point. Someone who's older than you doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be able to tell you how to do what you're doing because in America today, I tell people who are older than me this and they argue with me and all this other stuff. There's so many more things to pay for. You have, like I said, back in the day, like 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, there wasn't that many types of bills to pay. And now there's insurance for this, insurance for that, internet bill. You got to have a phone. Your phone's got to work. You got to be able to have, depending on where you live, you might have a car or bills or like, you know, some places, you know, rent is multiple thousands of dollars per month, right? Crazy amounts of money. And some of the uh, amounts of money that you make, like what a good salary is, is still the same amount from, you know, many decades ago. But the actual scale hasn't met up to like 
the amount of cost because like I said, since the pandemic, stuff has been so crazy since the year 2020 and all of the, the, the craziness going on there. So like I said, what I tell a lot of these kids is that um, you need to first think, think of yourself like, hey, look, I'm dealing with something that's a little bit more serious than what people before me we went through in this way. So you don't necessarily have to feel bad because a lot of them didn't have to go through this at a young age, right? And that, that, isn't, that isn't like what they went through. Like I said, I'm not downing people who were older than me or even people my age, like I said, because everybody goes through something, but, you know, and everybody even went through the pandemic and all that other stuff. But my point is, you know, imagine going through this at a young age. Imagine having the internet and all this different stuff. Like I said, a lot of people grew up before the internet, i.e. the people who were in charge and have all the money that, you know, people are, are complaining about all this super rich and powerful people, and whether you're, you know, politically savvy or not, everybody still understands that there's lots of people who have, the cat is making noise, man, I'm telling you, um, like I said, a lot of people have power and all this money and stuff, and they don't necessarily deserve it because they got it in an undeserved, you know, not necessarily uh, a fair way, right, but that was before the age, you know, that was before the age of now, like I said, this is a video for Gen Z and Gen Alpha. There was no internet. All this stuff was going on, and it would be very. It would take weeks, months, years before you heard about something. Now everything is instant. So you would think, hey, back then, why didn't they do something about this? Why didn't somebody stop this before then? Everybody actually assumed the people who are in power and are doing all these things that everybody is angry about. They actually assumed that there was a good people because all they needed was a snapshot or like, oh, look at this or listen to the president on the radio or, oh, look at this interview. There's nothing going on here. Like I said, because they would you, they would have to, you know, snitch on themselves and report to, you know, hey, we're doing this bad thing. They just wouldn't do that. And that's when, like, you know, I guess for all, you know, look in the comments below. There might be people who are some of the older people might comment back in the Vietnam era, like certain thing was um posted you know certain thing it was posted it was um aired it was somebody killing somebody on tv right and a lot of people in america didn't really like that they, they were like hey we thought the war was you know supposed to be all this good stuff that you were telling us obviously then all this stuff was lies there's other types of reporting coming out that was going against the narratives in a very unpopular war and a lot of very negative stuff happened you know not necessarily that he even needed that but that was just on top of all the other negative things that were happening at the time my point being is that now you're living in a time that everything's being reported so fast and you know it's, it's very tough on these younger kids right it's just a crazy world to live in especially like you're growing up in the United States of America and other countries is much different, you know, because they're trying to get internet freedom and, you know, have a lot going on and they can't even get their voice out. But now in America, they're bombarded with so much propaganda that it's hard to even know what's really anything. And, you know, it's, it's very tough on these kids. And, you know, what I like to tell them is, you know, first of all, um, again, political parties are not your friends. They're all fake. They're all, it's all, they're, those are corporations, right? The United States of America, this is a tip, pro tip, right? The United States of America, the entire government is a corporation, literally, right? And so when you start thinking about that, stop spending so much time. Again, this might be a little bit unfortunate. Stop spending so much time um, looking at the current propaganda of all the election cycle and all that other type of stuff. Look at these older documentaries. Look at these older, um, back in the day, like those 1990s documentaries about the, like what it was. Like a, Look at the time when the computer first came out and how amazing that was. You know, there was a time where all these people on TV right now, all the, the big news anchor, all my political, this and that. Did you know that these fools actually said that the Internet was a fad and computers were lame and for nerds and oh, it'll it's a fad. It'll go away soon. Nobody cares about the Internet. Do you know that these fools actually used to say stuff like that? Older wisdom, right? So, again, this is the type of people that you're listening to, right? So, again, everything's super expensive, Um a lot of people are moving away from the larger cities, right? Moving out into the urban areas. This is a very, this is like a reverse trend because like and said, all throughout history, there's been migrations inside of countries, away from the countryside to the cities because that's where the, you know, the future and to, to bit the best type of future was for your family because people would say, oh, we're in the countryside. We can make a living, you know, farming because of the technology at the time, many, many years ago, it was very difficult. And um, <clears throat> there was no internet, obviously, so it was very hard. Winters, summers, whatever the you know the case was, not including wars or anything else, it was very difficult. So they moved to the cities. They could make money. They could meet people, doing all this other stuff. But now, after the pandemic in 2020, from all these other years, right, people are moving out into the more rural areas like this. So you can see, this is a nice little, little orange tree back there. And uh, you have the internet. You have all this technology. You can grow food. I got a little garden over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to sustain you, but it could do a lot. Some people, it actually can, right? And um, 
that's what people are doing. So they're moving back out into this countryside, into the vastness in all these different countries and areas with the technology they have. And they're trying to figure out how to survive away from all the super expensiveness, all the craziness and all these different types of things. So, you know, my suggestion is, again, this might be a part one video because there's a lot that goes into this. My suggestion is, number one, stop spending so much time daydreaming and watching television and listening to music. You never really, I mean, I'm not saying you can't listen to music at all, but I'm saying the amount of time that you spend listening to music and just daydreaming and just like feeling bad for yourself. Again, you guys are young people. You're supposed to be awesome, right? Because you guys are awesome. It doesn't matter. You're the future Gen Z, Gen X now. You know, I'm not going to drill down into, you know, different, you know, ethnic groups or, you know, communities and stuff like that. I'm just doing it general with the young men and women out there. Like I said, stop spending so much time listening to music and then have a portion of your day where you actually enjoy listening to other people talk about things that they know and uh, just enjoy learning. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a school because like I said, I went to college after the military and it just seemed kind of ridiculous to me that like I said, like <clears throat> it was good to get like a refresher, how to use like Excel because I took an Excel, um, Excel, what is it? It was Excel 2015 or Excel 2016, like all the little spreadsheets and stuff. And I took that and to learn how to use all the newest version of the time, 2015. So a new version of all that different stuff. And it was great. Like I said, I talked to my teacher and she was a nice lady. She's very smart, but uh, she worked on a military base and she's like, you know, I have to like, I like yelling at people, I like doing all that stuff. She was a civilian, but she was saying that, you know, a lot of these younger kids today, they just like, they don't necessarily have the passion. It's like, it's very difficult. And she didn't know at the time, but it was like, they're all these different corporations and people are trying to make you feel bad so that you just kind of just sit there and don't take advantage of opportunities that you do have. They have taken a lot of them away from you. But like I said, now that you're in this position where everything is expensive, you're like, hold on a second, what is going on? Now you can look around and say, who's, who is really for me and who's not. Okay. And, um, like I said, people are moving back again. A lot of these people are moving back in with their parents. And like I said, if you actually have a family, you're actually able to contact them and be with them. Like you don't necessarily have to feel that embarrassing. A lot of people are talking smack like, Oh, you're moving back in with your parents. But like I said, you're in an economic crisis and they're trying to annihilate your civilization. Hey, so a lot of people don't have parents. A lot of people don't have that to lean back on. That's a good thing. Like I said, it may, it may feel embarrassed. You may feel like whatever, but like I said, if you're going to actually do it and you're going to be there every single day that you're there, if you feel bad every single day, you need to actually take it more serious, save that money and actually learn more about <clears throat> what's going on so you can get the opportunities that there are. Again, a lot of people might say, look at how many opportunities are in America. Why are you complaining? Again, there are opportunities in America, but sometimes when you try to take advantage of the opportunities, you are artificially held back because there are different industries and people, famous examples here and there of people running away with people's money saying, hey, take, you know, opportunity this, scams here and there. Again, just because someone has millions of dollars in America doesn't mean they're not scamming. There's a lot of scammers out here. Again, look at these 1990s and these early documentaries. Look up Enron. Look up, you know, Bernie Madoff, all these people that stole all this money and just took off. There's famous movies about it, hilarious stuff. When you start learning about all this different types of stuff, you'll start looking at everything in a different way and you'll start to understand. Again, there's this TikTok, younger kid on TikTok who was like, man, this is really upsetting. And um, he did this thing where he looked up freedom of information act because again a FOIA request freedom of information act you can look up stuff that they actually the government has to tell you and so like all these politicians are making all these stock options and trades and some of it they have to tell you so this young kid was like hey check this out and now i've seen some of these older guys talking about oh yeah some young kid blah 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 and now they have a whole app you pay a little bit of money and then they'll show you the stuff that all these super rich politicians that are getting all this free money because they're doing all this you know behind the scenes stuff that's not fair but again, it's fair because they're legally running the system, right? You can look this type of stuff up. Like I said, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but a lot of people, this is what the people are doing out there. And I've seen different types of people talking about this. Again, younger people, you spend time watching, you know, anime, which I do too sometimes. You spend time watching sports, which I don't really watch that much, hardly at all. You spend time listening to music. You spend time uh, doing this, that, reading books. Like I said, a lot of time you're working. If you're working all the time, I completely understand I worked a lot when I was younger until I figured this out. There are a lot of ways to make money, crazy amounts of ways to make money. This is America, all right? But you have to actually be willing to listen. Because like I said, it's, it's already hard enough. Like I said, there's opportunities you take a, take advantage of, and they're going to hold you back. They're going to be doing like grimy boomer stuff because that's what a lot, of, a lot of them do, Gen Xers, boomers. Everybody's scamming out here, right? But again, just because somebody has millions of dollars and they're suiting on TV doesn't doesn't mean that they're not the king of the scammers because a lot of them really are, okay? Um, 
you know, there's lots of ways to make money. So spend more of your time instead of listening to music or doing all these things. You got to, again, you have to, a lot, again, a lot of adults don't even know this, but again, you have the internet. You can look up anything you want. You can listen to podcasts. You can listen to people learning about this or that. Again, if you learn how to fix drywall, just like drywall in your state, depending on what state you live in. Again, this is for a lot of people who live in the United States of America. I live in Florida. Certain things that you do, you don't necessarily have to have a license for. Or like I said, if you know people that need something, hey, you can fix a patch of drywall, buy the tools for that. And um, you can make a couple hundred bucks in 20 minutes, like 200 bucks. Again, you can work all day. Don't quit your day job. Again, if you don't have to, there's lots of different things you can do, right? For example, what I started doing, I got out of the military and I was doing GI Bill. I would do landscaping a lot and do these other things. But then like, you know, I started helping my father with his business. I started helping a couple of my friends, you know, tool up their businesses because I knew how to run stuff because I was in the military. I ran, a, you know, a company's worth uh, doing, you know, acquisitions and, you know, being on the computer, calling to different countries because I was in Japan, calling America, making, you know, purchases, getting equipment, delivering all this different type of stuff. I could do that for myself, right? Play Grand Theft Auto, you can do all that other stuff there. You can do it for yourself, right? Simple, right? Um, I'm not saying, you know, stealing and everything, but running a business and stuff because that's what you do in the game, right? Empires and stuff. So like I said, you learn about the, it's, it seems boring at first. Learn about the state you live in and hey, you can always relocate to a new place if it's, you know, if you can or like I said, if you're living with your parents, whatever. But like there's certain things you can do in the area. Again, you can learn how to make a lot of money. Like I said, you can do, like I have friends who do woodworking. I have, you know, people that do, um, friends who do tree jobs like my friends they do uh trees like they cut and you know do landscaping and trees and stuff a lot of money in that it's dangerous like i said be careful but i know a lot of people that get a lot of money doing stuff like that and like i said they still have regular jobs oh look at my cats jump on the, jumping on the uh on the truck here but like i said there's lots of different ways again i did a job where there's this lady very nice lady moved from from new york down to florida talked with her joked around a little bit hey <clears throat> um you know, it took us 25 minutes to cut a couple of these branches. Again, this, we had to get on a ladder and do all stuff. $200 a branch it took us about 15 minutes a branch. You know, you know, we got like five or six branches. We made like a thousand bucks clean up the yard. That's 1100 bucks in about an hour and a half. You know what I mean? 1100 bucks was, was split between me and my friends. His truck got like four, $450 for an hour's worth, worth of work. And then, like I said, you can still go to work doing other stuff or GI Bill or whatever else. But like I said, you just have to look around your area and see what's actually good. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to do things you don't like to do. But like I said, there's all kinds of ways to make money. Like I said, there's lots of people who have animals. And like I said, they may have to go out of town. You can wash their animals. You can help them. There's different things you can do. And I'm not saying like work extra, but I'm saying like there are some things that you can do that you can make a lot more money doing on the side instead of what you would normally be doing like a hobby watching tv or movies or just messing around all the time a lot of people spend their free time doing silly stuff but then they don't know how to make any money like i said if you moved out of the city right if you move back in with your parents and you're in a community see what type of people are in the community like i said now maybe all these options aren't available to you but like i said the stocks the internet like i said this is for the younger people right I'm trying to see if there's any creatures sneaking up on me because I'm out here in the woods and uh, <clears throat> it's dark, right? It's for the younger people. See what type of opportunities are around and see what type of stuff that you are interested in. And maybe, like I said, maybe you need to do a little bit of self-reflection. I know you were lied to and you were told that you should just wait and, you know, go get a job and, you know, when it, everything will be fine and all this stuff. But like I said, everything's really expensive. If people don't really want to pay that much, you know what I'm saying? Because they either can't or they were not willing to. There's a lot of different types of ways that you can fucking survive, right? And so, like I said, sorry, my cat is like really doing crazy stuff right now. Like, it's right behind the camera right here. What are you doing? Doing crazy stuff. So, like I said, um, what do you guys think? Comment down below what you think. Like, you know, some of the situations. Like I said, if you're dealing with a little bit of stuff, you're trying to figure it out. Comment below. Like, maybe you know, myself. I, I definitely have some time. Me or people in my you know generation, old or younger. If we actually do know anything, I'll definitely you know comment and talk to you a little bit. But uh, you know, this is just one of those videos that I felt like making because um, <clears throat> I do know a lot of stuff, and I see. I looked at the analytics on my channel. There are some younger people that watch my videos, and I've talked to some of them. But like I said, if you definitely share this video out with uh, people that you know that are younger, um, young men, young women that are, you know, trying to make it in this you know economic situation that's going on. Because like a lot of this stuff is, um, like I said, this truck right here. 
this is a truck that I purchased um, in a, you know, an, another country. Like I said, when I lived, you know, you know, lived overseas and lived in other places, you know, when you learn about a lot of different things, you can make a lot of money, right? And so there's, pe there's things that people need, right, in other places that you might have right under your feet or right around you you may not even know about. And like I said, one of the other things, if you've moved out of the city, moved back in with your parents, you feel bad or whatever, but you want to make a living, you want to start doing stuff, again, making a living isn't necessarily, you know, having all of this money. Because like I said, you, I make all this money and then you have to dump it in a hole and then you're, it's gone. And then like, what did you really do all that for? Do you want to, you want to live life or do you want to make a living? Making a living, okay, you can definitely make all this money. What the fuck are you doing, man? You better calm down. Sorry, I'm hearing all this thumping and shit. It's just scary now. So again, you can make a living, right? Or you can live life. Now, there's a lot of people who said, screw it, I'm going to buy a van and go live down by the river, right? There's this guy, Tim Pool, who's kind of a goofy looking guy. Says a bunch of goofy stuff, but I mean, <clears throat> I mean, he's, you know, he's been around for a while. And he all, used to always make this joke, like he's going to get a van and move down by the river. Now, a lot of people might, again, back in the day, that used to be really creepy, right? But now, um, there's a guy... He came from Canada. I think it's, it's Marcel Ernie Racing. Uh, Canadian guy. He's always doing his thing. He actually came down to America. He's got an F-550. Him and his wife live in it. He's got a giant camper on the back, and they're touring around America, living life, doing all kinds of stuff. They have RVs, but I personally you know, suggest if you like, were to get a regular car and to trick it out and to, like, again, learn the weather, learn the patterns, learn the seasons and stuff, you can travel around America, and you can live in the vehicle. A lot of people are doing this because you know having you know, $4,000 a month for an apartment or like a super high up place if it's just you or if it's just you and your significant other maybe a cat or a small dog a lot of people are starting to do that now and like you know at first it might seem kind of ridiculous because you have to pay all this money for you know the getting the car fixed and doing those other things but like i said what i mentioned earlier what are you interested in if you learn a little bit how to fix a couple things here and there replace a tire do some top of you know do some top engine stuff on your own save a lot of money be a lot of easier you can make it a lot further without having to have any serious issues and you can have a real, you can have a lot more fun. Like during that time, you can travel around, learn, and then, then you can, you know, find a place that you actually want to live. And then you can move out to like the rural areas. And like I said, maintain the environment out there and live off the area. Because like I said, a lot of people don't know this, but you can live off the environment in many places in America. Now they have Amish communities all over America. And do they use technology? Very rarely, if not ever, do they do that. And they're still able to survive. You want to know why? Like I said, Amish community. They got a horse and buggy, right? They may have one person. I don't. Again, I don't know. This is if you know any Amish people, definitely comment below. But they don't use technology. These horse and buggy in America, they have a little sign on the back. Please don't hit us. Cars drive around them, but again, they will make. They have like a farm. They might have some technology in the farm that's like help them process meats or milk or dairy or, and stuff like that. And they trade with the modern world, and they're able to make a, a, a really good uh, living. So much so that the federal agents chase them down. And uh, definitely do a discrimination abuse on them because their food is too good. They're, they're like, oh, no, you got to put some chemicals and you got to we can't be allowing that. So, again, they're able to live off the land and live and, put, you know, and hang out and chill with the modern world. You know what I'm saying? And um, they're not even using any technology. They don't use Internet. They don't use none of that. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's like it's Amish in the Mennonite community. There's a lot of people on YouTube that do inter, uh, interviews with them. And like I said, some of them will come on camera because they don't even believe in being seen on camera. And like I said, you, again, it's for the younger kids out there. there. There's so many different ideas. Like, again, dump all the – again, you went to high school and do all this stuff. That's great. You learn how to read, write. I mean, hopefully, yes. But, again, change your mind into start thinking about – what you're interested in and make it interesting make yourself interested in things like a lot of kids in school they're like oh you're 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 smart you're lame you're this and that but again do you want to then go out into the world and be like why is it so hard you just made fun of smart people stupid ass bitch what the fuck wrong with you again you don't have to be you don't have to be lame right what the things that you learned is for yourself and then how you act and your personality that could be different like i said but just don't don't be a buster don't be fake don't be lying don't be you know trying to do people you know around the back of steel and doing all the other stuff you don't want that type of people around you right i don't care where you're from like i said the more you learn and the the, the more you're like i said you uh, there's a statistic that i learned that a lot of people 
in this world in the United States of America in the modern day, they do not even leave their city or state. A, a large percentage of people, I would say it things like more than 50 or 60 percent, they never leave their state or city. There's so many other things out there, right? And if you're wondering why can't I leave, <clears throat> why can't I survive? The city is too expensive. Again, you might have to move into a different place or even if move into a different place in your mind. Again, living in the most expensive, highest city, and even like I said, even rural areas can be expensive. You know what I'm saying? But there are places you can find, right? It's tough because they're trying that all again, this is what learning all this different stuff on the internet, watching podcasts instead of listening to music and messing around all the time. You would learn that people are trying to screw you around. Again, my house I have a fantastic deal. My friend who's a little bit younger than me, he's a Marine that I know. He lives in the, you know, like probably like 25 minute drive. They got a new town over there. Some new companies building all these, you know, this new neighborhood and all this stuff, bro. They are jigging them out the ass for money. They moved them in at first. Everything is cool. And the next year we're jacking the price. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Just knocked over a piece of metal and they're screwing them. They're, they're literally annihilating them, right? Because people thought that they, is it, the, the neighborhood is mostly people who are from New York in a different state. And they're like, oh, hey, I'm moving down here. And then they, they, just, they just hit them with this crazy prices on year number two. Now everybody in that town is starting to boss up. And they're starting to meet. They're looking around. They're like, all right. And they start doing council meetings. They start showing up. Like, hey, look, you're going to charge this much money. Maybe I come see you at your house. And again, prices will change because a lot of times just because somebody's in a suit and tie does not mean they know what they're doing. doesn't mean that they're truthful or they're the number one. They're the man. They're the woman. Again, people, some people are just allowed to be there. And you have to like start thinking about this type of stuff and that's why spending the time learning reading listening watching people's actions not listening to their mouth they can do all this that's why i said election year stupid people can be doing this hearing all these crazy noises out here sorry from looking around people are gonna be doing this in election year watch what they do where they walk what they actually do and again that's why i'm making this video because i want all these younger kids out here. I want you Gen Z, Gen Alpha, you know, even some of these millennials out here, but like a lot of you younger kids, um, I want y'all to actually succeed, right? Don't spend the majority of your time daydreaming. It's great. It's fun. Listen to music, Beyonce or Taylor Swift or, you know, whatever, you know, rappers or whatever, whatever it is that you do. Spend more time reading, learning and listening and trying to sharpen your mind. It doesn't School is boring. I hate school. Absolutely hated it. Didn't like it. But again, now I can go on YouTube or on the internet or on, you know, Odyssey or any of these other websites and just look it up and you can learn all kinds of stuff, right? And learning doesn't have to be in a formal setting. If you just found something out, like, wow, I just found this out today. Learn something new every day, right? That's a phrase that they used to always say in the military. Learn something new every day when they would make fun of you because you just figured something out. Everything is learning, right? So... And again, um, you know, even if you're the nerdiest person, the coolest person, whatever, everybody's getting shook by this money pricing stuff, right? It sucks, right? So again, the more you learn, the more you're able to look. I mean, you got the internet now, right? I hate school, but I love the internet. I mean, I don't love everything on it, but I, you know, I love the ability, the ability to learn, right? And so you can look for all kinds of stuff. There's deals all over the place. Again, right down the way in this a town uh, a little bit north of here. They're killing people on prices for houses and people have to actually find their neighbors. But again, they're not all from the same area. They're all different. So everybody's kind of like, oh, I don't know my neighbor. But an area where I'm from, everybody's actually from here or has lived here a long time. Something crazy happens. Everyone shows up. They're like, hey, you need to get that up out of here. And people are like, wow, really? That was a community. Yeah, because it, it depends on where you live. So it depends on if your neighbors are cool, you get to know them, whatever. And so like I said, depending on what you learn and how you are as a person to yourself. This is all about you. Again, confidence, yeah, dating and all that other stuff. Again, I can do confidence, but if you want to do dating and all that other stuff, you can go find somebody else, right? Like I said, if that's what you're into, that's cool. If you're not, hey, it's whatever. But again, this video is for a lot of these younger people, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, these prices out here, the amount of things you have to pay for, you may not have the support and then, and, you know, the, the motivation. You may be being steered in the wrong direction. That's what this video is about because there's a lot of people out here that ain't shit. And a lot of people, you know, some people might get offended. They want to cancel my video. They want to sit there and send, you know, the FBI to your house or the send the police or cancel you or Zuckerberg, get them and all this other stuff. A lot of that. Think about, think about how crazy that is, right? 
they're willing to have someone jump on a plane, get in a helicopter, fly all the way to your house and cancel you, say you're offending somebody who has lots of money in order for us to even care about this person to come do all this stuff. Because like I said, if the person was not shit, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't fly helicopters all over the world to be like, you offended this person. You know what I'm saying? So like they, there is money out there, right? And if you, like I said, when you spend the time learning, when you spend the time reading these old documentaries and be like, these motherfuckers are full of shit. They have unlimited money machine. It's bad to print money, right? You can't just print unlimited money because then it, what you have doesn't become worth anything, but they're doing it anyway. Um, they could literally print unlimited money and do whatever they want. They got spaceships. They could fly to whatever planet, but they literally locked down. They said, you can't go to space. We literally closed off the rest of the universe and we need more money. You know, like I said, it's ridiculous stuff. But again, when you become the type of person that thinks about that, right? You start thinking about that. You start thinking about stuff. You start being a more critical thinker, right? You start being, again, this isn't saying just for everything, but it's saying just for these Gen Z and Gen Alpha, right? Um, become a critical thinker and actually think about the stuff that you, that's being put in front of you. The prop, it, it is propaganda, okay? It doesn't matter what type of thing it is, right? Political parties, doesn't matter. It's all the same. You know, corporations, it might be a little different here and there, but again... <laughs> Look at the pricing, the taxes. Look at the things that are going to actually affect you, right? That's what you need to be paying attention to. All of the other crazy, you know, drama and all that other stuff. Maybe you can get into that later. But like I said, if you want to succeed in this life and you're struggling and you're doing all this other stuff and you can't figure out what's going on, again, a lot of the stuff that you were told was a bunch of nonsense, right? And um, it's a little hard to get my thoughts together on this because there's so many different things that are just coming out of my mind because I spent so many years looking out of a window like thinking like, damn, this can't be it. Like, I can't believe that there's like all this money being made on the internet and I don't know how to do any of that. You know what I'm saying? It was just ridiculous to me. And then like I said, Bitcoin and all this other stuff launched and then like, ugh, mosquito. I actually got in on that on the early stage. I made a couple thousand dollars and it was amazing, especially back when a thousand dollars was like a lot more than what it is now. Unbelievable. You couldn't even imagine how I felt. Like I said, I was living in an apartment by myself or not by myself. I had roommates. You know what I'm saying? After I got a military, I was like, yeah, it was great. We bought so much ramen that week. It was unbelievable. Ramen and alcohol. So it was great. But like I said, that's one of those moments that's out there that you may not know about. Like, oh my God, this is happening. Like, you know what I mean? Like there was a time where that one kid, I can't remember his name, um, he discovered, like, you know, that politicians used to, one uh, type of thing, they used to write a bunch of crap in, hey, we're going to make this political move, and he, like, made it popular and fun, and then, like, you know, everybody, it was, uh, the, it was like the, the silver squeeze, right? This kid, he was like, hey, check this out, I think they're going to do, th it was a GameStop, yeah, it was the GameStop thing. He's like, they're going to try to, you know, screw over GameStop. Let's buy all these shares. They bought all these shares. And then when this, you know, Melvin Capital, this big bunch of billionaires, they went to go buy the shares back. The kid bought up all the shares of GameStop. He was like 22 at the time. <clears throat> he bought up all the shares of GameStop because he didn't want GameStop to go under. So they tried to save it. And, you know, they had to force buyback a lot of these shares. And a lot of these kids with college, you know, these poor kids who had no money. Some of them actually made out like bandits and made millions of dollars and like, a, you know, more. They made less money, like a couple hundred thousands. Some, a lot of people made thousands of dollars. And a lot of people tried to get in when it was a little bit too late and they lost some money. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people tried to replicate that with other stuff, but they didn't. And again, they're doing pump and dumps all the time, but the people can't replicate that original thing. The kid made it fun to actually learn the original basics and to look and see what these people were doing. That's what he did. And that's what I started doing. And I learned how to learn. Right, a lot of people they want to send you to school. You can learn a lot of different stuff, but you don't learn how to learn. Right, you learn how to learn for yourself. Everyone's different, right? Everybody has different things that they need, and um, you need to learn what you need. You need to learn what you like and what you want about your life. What do you want to do? Like I said, you may not know all of a sudden. You may not know all up front. But like I said, if you have to learn fast, because some people have to grow up and have to learn fast, you know. It'll be fantastic. When you start learning how to learn, you start enjoying the fact that, you know, you live in a place where there are a lot of options, you know, even though you're being held back in many different ways and you're being cyber attacked and psyoped in so many different ways, there are ways where you can actually, you know, make it, right? And it will actually make people angry that you're surviving through all their crap that they're throwing at you. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, but this is a reality. You know what I'm saying? So I just want you to know that 
I actually am thinking about the younger generation out there, y'all young boys and y'all young girls, but especially for these young boys out here, I want to make sure that y'all understand that, you know, you're under attack, your psyop, your future is being destroyed, and a lot of these older people, they don't want to hear it, like, there are some that are fantastic, a lot of these, my neighbors, they're older, I talk to them all the time, they're super awesome and funny, love them, but again, some of these older people out there, society, and some, maybe some of your family, they are like, oh man, back in my day, blah, 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 you know, I don't see what the big deal is, okay, back in his day, you'd make 50, you know, 20 to $30,000 a year, and a house was, you know, $75,000, Nowadays, you can make twenty thousand, twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year, and a house is a bajillion dollars. And they don't, they don't, it. They again, they don't. A lot of them don't want to see it. And just you know what, I don't even be mad. I'm just like you know what, this person is either old or doesn't care or whatever. It's good for them. Just let them go on their way, and you start focusing and look for like-minded people that are actually like you, and try to get with them and try to like actually succeed and go on because like I said after a while once you start going up people that are people that were around you people that were hating on you or didn't really believe you they'd be like damn he's actually doing it or hey she's actually got it going on like I said don't spend so much of your time having so much fun and having um you know wanting to do all this stuff like you know have some fun every once in a while but like I said the amount of actual time you actually have to read and learn and to enjoy learning how to learn for yourself right that's what you got to do these days. You got adap to adapt to what's going on, right? But like I said, a lot of these older people, they, some of them, you're not going to be able to convince them of how difficult it is to be a younger person these days. You're not going to be able to do it. What you need to do <clears throat> is convince yourself of that. Actually go and do all of these things, right? Do what you can because it is tough. And like I said, when you're saving money, People think it's silly. People think it's dumb. This, is, this has saved me m many times. I have a change jar, right? And I've always had Navy Federal. If you have anybody in your family that's like a veteran, you might be able to sign up Navy Federal. They had a, a change machine where you, you know, you dump the change in, right? I actually, they had one in the bank and you would dump it in there and it would deposit whatever you dumped the change machine in there into your bank account. That saved my life so many times. I can't even tell you. Again, people thought it was funny, but again, now... I still have the change machine. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. What's up, guys? My friend Master Rick, my other buddy I work with, that I was telling you about that does tree work, does great money, makes great money. Like I said, um, like I said, there's many different ways. I, I, you know, got these videos at 37 minutes, but, you know, I'm out here going off on these kids. But like I said, I got to let them know because, again, we see you guys out here. It's um, a lot of people, you may have learned a lot of weird stuff. They're trying to teach a bunch of goofy nonsense up in schools. They're not really helping you understand. Again, one thing you never learn in school is taxes. They don't teach you money. They don't nope. teach you what state you live in. They should teach, hey, this is what's going on in the state. Some Maybe there are a couple places that do, but the majority of them don't, like I said. Um, and you, again, in my opinion, they should reshape all that stuff. But again, the only people who taught me that shit, dude, is my parents growing up. Yeah, they taught me the states, what's going on in the states, uh, the importance of taxes and money and all that bullshit. Yeah, they don't they don't teach that in school anymore. They don't. Yeah, like I said, there's a reason why because a lot of people who are up top are like, hey, look, I like to make money off of not working, so let's not teach people that I'm just going to take it off from them. So again, you have to again what I said in this video. A lot of you might want to hear it just because someone's older than you or they're on a TV with a suit and tie. Oh, I'm not the older gen. They ain't shit. All right, anything. That does not mean anything. Yeah. So like again, we're out here again. It wasn't always easy for a lot of us. We worked very hard for many years, but now, Master Rick, they can. I'm still working my butt off. I'm still. Working <laughs> I'm not my saying butt I didn't say it was easy, right? But again, he's making good money. He's working his butt off. There's a lot of different ways out here to make money, and you don't always have to necessarily go live in the city and work. I have a lot of friends that have degrees and they can't work in an office building. They'll fucking slap somebody. You know what I'm saying? So now they're on the road. They're out making money here and there. They've moved out to a nicer place, again, out in the country. I did, yeah. I moved out to Geneva. I got se uh, We're in Florida, by the way. Uh, Geneva, I got seven acres out there. Yeah, like I said. a lot of work, but... It's nice. You get a nice place, nice and scenic, relaxed. You get to drive to work however far it is. Sometimes you telework, people work from home. A lot of options. And like I said, then you can have... Um, like I said, if you, one of the other things I'm going to get into, learn the environment, learn the different parts of America you live in. It's a very beautiful country. And um, you don't necessarily always have to... 
live in the city. Like I said, you can go to the city all the time. You can work there. You can go back and forth. You don't necessarily have to always be there. You can make plenty of money. You can go, and like I said, it'll feel better when you go and visit and it's nice. You can go back and enjoy the country. So it doesn't have to be turned into, you know, like crazy, like apartments everywhere because people can enjoy what they have. You know what I'm saying? But Well, you're a good example on that because you live, I mean, Chile is not in the suburbs, but it's yeah. tight. Yeah. You have a garden. You've done all the garden stuff. Yeah. I got like a huge. In a neighborhood. I got an entire forest back here. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. It's got a nice neighborhood. There's a story so in the neighborhood. you've learned to adapt to the land, and you've learned to use the land that you have. Yeah. So, like, my, my niece, she lives in an apartment. She's got all her plants inside, growing inside. So you can do stuff like that. It just takes time. Yeah, like I said, you just, like I said, it's all about learning how to learn and what you enjoy learning. You don't always have to, you know learn the gloom and doom and the listening to music all the time. You can listen to podcasts, learn, you can learn about plants. And like I said, when you're out in working on the plants, you're out doing your hobby, they can actually, you know, and better your life. Then you can listen to music and do whatever you want. But like I said, just want to do this part one video to get out here to let the younger people know that, um, there are a lot of things you can do to succeed. You know, there's lots of videos. There's lots of things in the internet all over the place that you can go. There's lots of books and libraries. I go to antique, I go to antique shops all the time and I learn all kinds of stuff. He's, learn all kinds of stuff. I go to antique shops. I find a lot of really great information and there's a lot of amazing stuff out there you can learn. Now, um, I love y'all. I want y'all to succeed and uh, I'll definitely have some more videos for the younger generation out there. We got some more videos. Uh, I got some more gym videos. I got videos of him working out. He's going to do a show this year still doing it. November. November. Where's it going to be at? Uh, hopefully Florida. All right. <laughs> I'll have to try. We'll see what's up. But yeah, he's doing a uh, bodybuilding show. I've been doing some videos. I'm going to show him here. going to do some stuff. But uh, definitely see y'all later. Definitely Gen Z, Gen Alpha. I got a little bit. I got a couple more videos for y'all coming up soon. Hey, comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what's going on. Peace. Peace.